What's up, guys? Mitchy here with the next episode of Things That Annoy Me, and the final one of 2014. So, let's get into it. So, for this episode, we're going to be talking about Metacritic. Now, I'm sure a lot of you know what Metacritic is. If you don't, it's basically a website where you can look up reviews, user reviews, critic reviews of games, movies, TVs, music, and pretty much it's those four categories. Now, what annoys me about this website is how stupid it is. For one, the way people review things on the website. For example, if a game only has one small flaw to it, if they say that there's something that they don't like about the game, instead of just p lowering it down a point, instead of being a 10, they instead not lower it to a 8 or 9 out of 10, they lower the score of the game down to a 0 out of 10 because of one small flaw. Oh, I don't like this thing about the game. Yeah, this is a pretty big problem. Well, not it's not that big. I'm just over-exaggerating, but you know what I mean. You know, I, I think it's pretty annoying. So, yeah, I'm going to give it like a 0 out of 10. <laughs> like, what? This game's the same as the last one. 0 out of 10. So, it shows that a lot of users there. In fact, no, a majority of users don't know how to score games. Another thing, it's littered with fanboys and fangirls. Back when Destiny first came out, there was reviews about it being like, someone gave it a 10 out of 10 on Xbox One, but a 0 out of 10 on PlayStation 4. Because of how biased they are toward Xbox and how much they hate PlayStation. Because of how much of an Xbox fanboy or fangirl, yeah, this was a girl, how much of a fangirl they were. So yeah, pretty much no one knows how to review or score games at all. They'll say things like, this game is shit, 0 out of 10. They'll even hand on a game like Call of Duty without even giving up, even having any facts to support what they're saying. You know, I, in fact, I saw a review about Advanced Warfare, a user review, saying things like, same shit, terrible optimi PC optimization, horrible, terrible, shitty, 0 out of 10, do not buy. That's, I think that's literally all it said. Nothing to back up. This this person had nothing to back up what he was saying at all. Just said this just out of pure hate. So another thing that pe people that I hate about Metacritic, people will just hate at something without giving any reason as to why. So overall, people do not know how to review things at all on the website. It's shit. Zero out of ten. And sure, I didn't play it, but I'm still going to review it. <laughs> what? You can't just review something when you don't play it. Okay. Also, critic reviews. Eh, their critic reviews are pretty much biased or unbiased or just paid no matter where you go. So, it doesn't matter. I don't have a reason to mention any critic reviews because, you know, if wherever you go, critic reviews are always the same. Always trying to sound smart in their reviews a majority of the time when in reality they aren't, like... This game did not do this certain thing correctly. Therefore, it is a flaw in many cases. Or however do they write down what they think. If it actually isn't biased and not paid. IGN. I'm looking at you. Anyways, that's all I had to say for this episode of Things That Annoy Me. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, I'm out.